The Army Painter are hosting the first ever Wargamer Games, and they've invited me to compete. Now if I'm going to stand a chance against some of these miniature painting heavy hitters, well I'm going to need a coach. I said, I'm going to need a coach. Okay, yeah! We are going to take you from being a little wimp and lift you right to the top. No. No, we aren't doing that. The Army Painter surprised everyone when at the beginning of the year, during the launch of their Fanatic paint range, we discovered that the hype was very much real. And now they are poised to release the Fanatic Wargamers paint set, which comes with an enormous 102 different paints. Yeah, that's a little over 100. To promote their paints, they've extended an invite to a whole host of your favourite painters within the hobby, and me, and the challenge that they've set for us is to paint this. It's a dragon. Dragon? The only dragon, brother, is me dragging you across the finish line, because you're nothing but a piece of garbage. There's only got to be one or two more of those to come, surely. But it can't just be me painting in my normal style. Instead, today, I think we put them through a test and see how they work through an airbrush, how they operate when we dry brush them onto a model, and also thinning them down and using them as layers. I'm not that far removed from being a beginner painter, and I know that if you are newer to the painting side of the hobby, that these are the areas of painting that we want to explore. Airbrushing is where we begin after a light prime, and when I use a colour, I'll pop it up here in the corner of the screen so that you can paint along. And speaking of painting along, the paint set actually comes with this dragon model, so if you go all out and treat yourself, you can paint the same model as well. So I'm starting with a dark blue, and yes, I'm cheating by using the airbrush, but this is simply saving me time. You can still paint these on as a base coat, but my advice is to use a large enough brush so that you aren't sitting there all day. And if you want to be a winner like Macho Man Mike over here, well you best start dressing. If my dragon is all blue, that will look pretty cool, but I'm also here to show off some vibrant colours, so it will be rude of me not to, I don't know, add some purple as well. The body can remain blue, but I think areas like the end of the tail, his hands and feet, the face, and well, his wing limbs, they can all transition from blue to purple. These paints come out of the bottle quite thick, and I really like that, because I can be then in control of how thin that I want them. Through the airbrush, my ratio is roughly one drop of paint to one drop of airbrush thinner. Hold up, there's a colour in here called Dragon Red. I don't really have a choice here, do I? I've got to use it. This can be our third main colour then for our vibrant dragon. So we will have a blue body, purple limbs and red wings. I'd like my dragon to have darker colours as the base, but then I'll highlight him to be brighter. That way, when we look at the model, there will be this fantastic contrast from dark recess areas to bright edges. By doing this, it should help to show off all of the detail on him. Yeah, I see you there with your one and your two colours, but what if I told you there were so many different colours, it might make your head spin. I see you using, you got your blues, I see you with some purples, and maybe even some greens. I bet, uh, I bet you read all about it online, I bet brother that orange you're glad, the coach is here for you. Ignore him, honestly, it's the only way that we're going to get through this. Airbrushing complete, so now we move across to dry brushing. This can be a fast and effective way to get highlights across the dragon's flesh and scales. I can cheat again here and I look on the side of the Fanatic paint bottles and use their triad system to find colours brighter and darker from what I'm currently using. This can be a great assistance with your shading and highlighting. I'm using an MDF texture pad and a fancy little sponge, but the only real investment here is the brush itself. 
Our regular painting brushes are pointy and sharper, but compare that to a dry brush, which is fatter and the hairs are the same length. You can pick these up from your same art stores and you'll even spot plenty of painters using other options like cheap makeup brushes. The first blue was a highlight across all of the scales, but the second brighter blue is only being applied to my brightest areas. You can select what areas to paint based on the direction of your imaginary light source and perhaps by how your dragon scales change colour. Same technique with the purple. We have the dark purple base, so this is our medium purple going on next. My blue and purple zones are on the one organic creature, and having a hard cut between one colour and the next would look unnatural. What I suggest here is that you enjoy the fact that you don't need to mask off any areas and be crazy neat. If some of your purple fraternises with blue areas, this looks like a naturally occurring transition on the scales. This channel is kept afloat by you guys, the viewers. Thanks so much for joining me on these videos, and furthermore, thank you so much to the channel patrons who financially support me. If you'd like to come be a part of the team, I'll add some links. As a special treat to those of you patrons, I'm going all out and I'm arranging a motivational talk from a celebrity on Cameo. Let's have a look here. What have we got? Ah, this looks good. 15 quid? Can't go painting your little action dolls. Yep. How did I not see that coming? Airbrush, check. Dry brush, completed. We are onto layering, which will be one of those pointy brushes I spoke about earlier. Blood Chalice is another cool name. Sorry, where was I? Right, layering. Here I'm using a wet palette from the Army Painter to keep my paints damp so that they last the entire painting session without drying up. When I layer, I thin my paints with water and I tend to wet my brush in a mix of a drop or two at the same time until I have a nice smooth consistency. The wings are a great part of this model to show you exactly what I'm talking about with this technique. If currently the wings are 100% painted with darker red and purples, I'll end up covering around 80 to 90% of them in these horizontal strokes. I keep the edges nice and dark, and the centre of each membrane will end up being lighter as we move through the different colours. Here's my next colour now as I show you how nicely the paints combine for you to create your own colours. My technique is the same, but this time around my horizontal lines are shorter in length and I focus on riding the tops of each of the wrinkles in the wings. This will draw the brightness to the centre and the tops of each segment. You can be so bold as to go brighter again in another layer, but I'm really liking how mine is looking, so I'll move on now to a few other accent areas. My dragon's teeth are nice and bright because he uses his bright colours to fend off rivals, similar to an 80s wrestler. Those are the three techniques that I wanted to show you so that you had a solid visual idea on how well the Army Painter Fanatic range operate. Our dragon sits atop a base, capturing turned over treasure chests, spilling coins all across a very important looking floor. As I paint this, I'd like to tell you how you can go about getting your hands on these paints if you decide that they're a good fit for you. Below in the video description, I've included a list of websites where you can pick up the Fnatic paint range. You will find websites catered for wherever you are in the world. These specific sites are special because they are affiliate sponsors for my channel, meaning that if you use any of these links to purchase paints and products, they send our channel a slice of the profits, and those dollar monies go into making these videos. And if those websites don't suit, know that you can head across to thearmypainter.com and find everything there. Uh oh, I think he's back. Yeah, and the champ, the champ is holding this, cause you, brother, you are all out of time. You heard the man. It's time to check out my dragon.
thank you so much to you, yes you, for hanging out with me today while I painted. And thank you so much to the Army Painter for including me in their competition. I believe they are going to be making a video shortly where they show off all of the different entrance models so you'll be able to have a look and see what everyone else came up with. And hopefully Coach has made the difference and my model can feature in their video as well. Hopefully I did get a laugh out of you today. And if I did and you liked the video, well, you know what to do. As we close out the video at the very end, I'll put one of those thumbnail title cards on the side of the screen that you can click on and it will jump you across to a video that I made at the very beginning of the year, which is in a choose your own adventure style. And it's just me again exploring with the Fanatic paints from the Army Painter, if you'd like to see them again in action. Thanks so much again, and I'll see you there. See, I've got a remote for that camera, but not that camera, which I need to get, because I have to keep getting up. I got it. Gotcha. Okay, yeah. We are going to take you from being a little wimp and lift you right to the top. This is so dumb. It hurts my throat. <laughs> Never waste my time. You are I want. Neither a first one nor be alone. Ah. Reading it, your love or your touch. Oh, it's what I'm living for Say I'll never waste my time I'm all you want Oh, oh.